Hello my perfume lovers, Addis, fanatica de perfume como yo. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with a guest star. Her name is Sam. She is going to be giving me her opinions on what I believe, in my opinion, are great perfumes to start a collection if you're new to fragrance and you don't know what to buy and you want something good. I'm going to help you out with that. Okay? Much so appreciate it. <laughs> So I have here the strips. So she's going to smell each one and then um, let me know what she thinks of it because these are some that are a little bold and a little daring for someone who's starting out, but they are just, for me, classics, must-haves, and you should start with these and then you can get into the world of fragrance. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with Olympia by Paco Rabanne. There we go. This is a beautiful, salty, floral, um, and I'm gonna spray it on here so Sam can tell me what she thinks. How excited. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Ooh. I smell like alcohol, like right a little bit in the beginning, mm -hmm. but it's like sweet. Yeah, so with fragrance, okay. you always gotta wait till it dries a little bit before you Put your nose with sometimes it's like it might make you want to sneeze things like that yeah. so i'm getting it it's beautiful it's so pretty it's yeah. very feminine yeah. to me mm -hmm. right yes yes oh that's really beautiful so that's one of the ones that i think everyone should have okay so i might mention a, a little bit of notes but i don't want to for right. every single one i don't want to make this too long which i'm pretty much improvising this was a spur of the moment thing okay the next one I think is a classic and everyone should have is Libre, Lib, however you pronounce it, by YSL, okay? This is a very classy, beautiful fragrance, okay? So I'm going to spray it here. And Sam will tell me what she thinks of that one. Ooh. It's very pretty. This is a and nice, this is another, yes, a nice one weddings that type of thing this is very nice it's classy appropriate for office all of that type of stuff i like the orange that i'm like smelling so this one has i'm gonna give you guys a little bit uh lavender mandarin orange black currant uh mm. orange blossom jasmine vanilla cedar musk ambergris all that good stuff Sounds okay really good. okay now we're gonna go to another one which i think is a classic and everyone must have which is Alien by Mugle. This one is purple. Sorry for the marks. This one is a little bit daring. This has jasmine, um, but it's just beautiful. And the longevity is like great. All right. Yes. Smell that. This, Ooh. a lot of fragrances have been made that are similar to this uh you know besides all of the flankers from this uh rouge malachi all these other fragrances um that are getting the vibe from this and then you know going a little bit another way but it's just beautiful beautiful mm -hmm. okay what do you would think? you wear this like during the day or during the night what what like where on what occasion would you wear something like this it i clean. i think it's more for a a, like an office or okay. a special occasion you can really wear it everywhere and anywhere but um because that's just me yeah yeah so i would basically wear it anywhere i want and i don't think it's not offensive at all right. so you can you know you don't want to overspray because it is strong and some people might bet you know be a little bit sensitive mm -hmm. but um yeah okay Ooh. the next one is I should have really started with this one. It's La Vie et Belle by Lancome. This is a classic. Everyone needs to have this. Yes, it has been talked about for years and a lot of people have it. it they might call it played out. I don't care. It's good. It is freaking good. And the longevity is great. This was one of the ones that, um, that uh, made me go crazy with my collection. I started out with this one. And from there, I just exploded. Ooh. What do you think of that? Oh, that's really pretty. It is very pretty. It's like fruit, like a fruit. What do we have in, in this one? 
This has the praline, vanilla, patchouli, tonka bean, jasmine, orange blossom. Uh, some people don't like this because of the patchouli, but I think it's just beautiful. Okay? Mm -hmm. A must have. Okay? When you're starting out. Remember, this is for beginners. Right. When you are already like having all of these fragrances, you you can start going into the flankers of these or different houses, different brands, different designers. I feel like you have to start with these. Okay, the next one is Black Opium. Another one, of course, these are not new fragrances. These are fragrances that have been around for years and to me they are classic must-haves when you're starting a collection and you don't know about fragrances. Some of these might be too much for someone who, you know, uh, is younger and things like that, but this is just me, okay? So this is actually the Intense, but I would say start out with the original. I ran out of that one because I like the Intense better. It lasts longer and it um, it's just my preference. Now, is the that. Intense notes different than the original? Are there the any The Intense has a different, I think it's dragon, something with dragon. Oh, okay. Uh, dragon fruit or dragon berry, uh, something. There was one, there's like a few notes that are different but it still has basically the base and the DNA of the original, okay. which is beautiful. Um, in the original, you have pear, pink pepper, orange blossom, coffee, which I you definitely that. get the coffee, which is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, jasmine, bitter almond, licorice, vanilla, patchouli, cedar, cashmere wood. So Ooh. it's definitely a gourmand um, on, one, on one side. And that one is, for me, a must have. Okay, the next one that I'm going to mention is Miss Dior. Miss Dior came out to play, okay? This is a beautiful fragrance. She's sexy, she's classy, she's everything, okay? So it's a must have. You start out with this one. Smell that. Dior is just has really good fragrances. Mm. Uh, so this has Iris, Peony, Lily of the Valley, Apricot, rose, peach, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, benzoin, and sandalwood. What do you what think of that one? What sticks out to you the most? Or like what smell? Because uh, I don't smell any of them, but you know. Just everything. This is an uneducated nose just, here. Just everything. Okay, you smell I'm not a, a pro. She forgets I'm not a pro. <laughs> She's a pro to me. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so the next uh, fragrance that we're going to talk about is I mean, can you do <laughs> a, a yes, small for interruption? Oh, yes. Yeah, small okay, so yes, the next really? one for perfume. You yes. Okay. Gotcha. Oh goodness gracious! Come on, go. Gotcha. I'll be I'll be right there. Go 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 go. Why are you making YouTube? Goodbye. Okay. Oh dear lord. We pardon the interruption. Okay, so the next fragrance that we're going to talk about, this is C from Armani. This is actually the intense uh, version, but I'm always getting those marks on there. It makes me so angry. Um, I don't have the original. I ran out and I got the um, the intense. This one is discontinued. There has been a new version that is Le Parfum, which I really want to get, but I haven't really been able to find. Um, and so I'm going to spray this so you can... <laughs> I just sprayed it in my face. <laughs> I just sprayed it in my face. Smell that. This one is, is great for the office. Ooh. You know, really classy also. Classy. Um, That's a good description. Yeah. And also, if you want to, if you don't know if you want to buy Armani CD Original, you can get Elizabeth Arden Always Red, which smells really, really, really almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And for like $20, $25, a huge bottle. Like you can see if you like that. And then you can get the Armani C. Oh. Okay. The next one for me is a must have is, and I'm already spraying her, Carolina Herrera, the original. Of course, the mother of the shoes. She was <laughs> the first one and it's just so beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful and sexy. I can already get, and I'm almost sneezing. It's just beautiful. What? Tons of stuff, tons of notes in here. We have almond, coffee, bergamot, lemon, tuberose, jasmine, or orange blossom, orris, and then the base notes. Tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, mm. musk, cashmere, uh, cinnamon, patchouli, cedar. There's so many things. So many. And this has really good longevity also. I'm actually tasting it right now. <laughs> so, um, 
Ooh. Is that sexy, right? Yeah, it's very yes. sexy. Yes, I like it. So this the sh the whole shoe line is beautiful, but you start out with her. You start with the original. It's not for everyone, but I feel like it's a very sexy, likable scent. Okay, you got to be a little bit daring. Yes. Okay. Now the last one that I have that would be um, classic, a classic, a must have but you have to have class and this is more for a special occasion maybe an office meeting an important day something is coco chanel mademoiselle this Ooh. is the intense version chanel is class you should know that by now i'm just kidding <laughs> no 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 chanel is class i can the longevity is beautiful it's a beautiful classy scent mm. it's a classic you just it's a must have of course, for the right person, you're not going to be 15 years old and buying this. No, this right. is for someone a little bit older, a little bit more, more mature. mature, who's been through some things. Right? <laughs> I heard that. Oh, that's okay. beautiful. Yes. It's like, and it's very citrus. beastly, very long lasting, okay? Mm. Most of these are all long lasting, um, pretty much, pretty much. And now that I went over those must have starting your collection fragrances, um, I wanted to do a little update on my Mother's Day haul. Um, and just real, real quick, I wanted to tell you um, a little bit about the longevity and everything about each one. So I'm going to start with the beautiful, very good girl glam. Okay? So cute. Just the heel is just everything. And the pink okay? Oh my goodness. Amy Glam recently just, she just um, reviewed this one also. And uh, let me tell you, I didn't, I thought I didn't get the cherry note in this because I just kept smelling something sour and tart. And I just like was like, why, where's the cherry? Where's the cherry? Even though it's delicious, I just wanted to get the cherry. And it turned out that the sourness was the sour cherry. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, yep. that's where it is. So that's, and longevity is really good. I was smelling myself in my little bubble all day, like mm -hmm. more than eight hours. It was beautiful. Of course, I overspray, but hey, okay. <laughs> the next one, which is my scent of the day, Eilish by Billie Eilish, the beautiful work of art, the statue. This is a beautiful spicy vanilla and the longevity is beautiful, great, eight hours, more, 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning i sprayed it at six i could still smell myself i was smelling myself all day so whoever has something bad to say about this i don't know why but right. you need to try it it's okay so good all right next one is uh michael kors gorgeous this one when i sprayed it um i got a little bit of the alien vibe mm -hmm. from this and then i was like oh that's why it's so good that's why i liked it because i didn't I hadn't smelled anything like it, but it does change and turn into its own thing. It's just in the opening, it, it gives you a little bit of alien, mm. okay? Um, longevity, I would say maybe six hours around there. Okay. I, I'm not really sure. Um, now, um, black opium, black opium, yeah, black opium. Illicit, yeah, illicit green. Yeah. Illicit green. Don't you just love so the cute. green I love bottle? I love it. Now, this is delicious, okay? I think that it gave me around six hours also. Okay. It wasn't like beastly, but I was smelling myself, but I wouldn't say that it lasted the eight hours, no. But I really do like this one, okay? okay? Next one is Rose Gold by Tiffany. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty, Ooh. the bling. <laughs> yeah, so this one is that beautiful rose fragrance. Have you smelled it? Yeah, I sprayed oh, it okay. when we okay. okay. started. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this one, I was, um, I actually ordered a sample uh, from La Rose by Parfums de Marley to compare it to this one to see if they're really, like, really similar. And they are not really similar, but they vibe the same. They're in the same family. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yes, Roberta, este, Rebecca Collazo was right because I asked her and she said, yes, they, you know, they're in the same like vibe, but they're not the same. So that's completely true. Next one is uh, Good Girl Legere. This one is also one of those beautiful heels and I excuse all of this um, 
these um marks these fingerprints i'm trying to get them off but this is just beautiful and the longevity on this was great i wore this on mother's day and it lasted me all day nice. so great great longevity and it smells very delicious kind of gourmand mm -hmm. um it has a lot of good stuff in there creme brulee i think it has and a whole bunch of other stuff that sounds so yummy it is yeah. it is yummy and beautiful and lastly this is wild rose by coach this has a similar vibe to um burberry her the pink one Ooh. the ed yeah edp it's edp other perfume mm -hmm. so it's it's really nice it's really nice the longevity not what i wanted but might be around four to six hours um so that's a nice one okay nice. so that is all of my uh starter collection suggestions and a recap on the mother's day haul thank you so much for watching sorry about the whole uh mess and unorganized knit <laughs> i can't even talk but yes you understand what i'm saying we do thanks for we watching do. Bye. until next time bye. <laughs>